we stepped up here and you were showing us some interesting things. I think you had a pure uh, a honeycomb and some other stuff that's going on. Can you kind of show us your, your honeycomb that you have there? It's pure honeycomb right here. Okay. This is what happens when you make a mistake and leave a frame out of a hive. They, they fill the dead space in the hive with this comb in a week's time. In a week's time. They didn't put honey in it. Started putting honey in it, but I got to it before they done that. I got the mistake out and got a frame in there in the place of this. It's like it's supposed to be. So the term candy as bees really did mean something. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. This is honey candy. I get this where I get my bee supplies. These are candles made with pure beeswax. This is the honey product right here, the finished product. Twelve or two pound bear is twelve dollars. The twelve ounce bear is seven dollars, and the eight ounce bear is five dollars. And I also have body lotion and chapstick. These are all made products from bees, correct? Yeah, these are from this, this is made with main ingredient is beeswax in the, in the body lotion, hand lotion, and the chapstick. The main ingredient is beeswax. Okay. It has other oils and ingredients in it too. But, yeah. So these are all from bees right here locally then? Yep, there's local, local bees. You can once again find the farmer's market downtown in Oskaloosa in front of the Mass County Courthouse on Saturdays from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. and Tuesdays from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. We're seeing fresh vegetables other things out here already we don't normally think about it this time how'd you get started already right uh we do have one hoop house right now so we were able to start all our salad greens really early yeah. are you at the farmer's markets here in oskaloosa tuesdays saturdays uh, only on saturdays right now okay yeah we have um four other markets we're doing uh so our week's pretty full yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't like, I don't like to sit much but i feel like there's um more I should be doing than, than sitting, but um, it's, it's a nice break. It's a nice break from the work, coming to the market and visiting with people, so. It seems really cold today for- <laughs> It is ridiculously frigid. <laughs> well, we have fresh vegetables and we've got some live plants, and so evidently we found some success already this year. We have, we have, we have. We have beautiful weather in sight. It, it is coming. <laughs> it's just a little bit of dip here. Um, so yes, yes, the garden has been, uh, busy doing its thing and and the weather will come around so we just appreciate folks coming out today i'm from rolling prairie acres from Sarney, and so my husband and i uh, go different directions he's actually in fairfield this morning and i come on over um so just saturdays we just do the saturday market yeah okay so what kinds of fruits and vegetables do you particularly this time of you know, year do we look at for farmers market well I, obviously the rhubarb and asparagus have been a lot of fun um those will be waning here shortly and of course the strawberries will take over soon so everyone can't wait for those to be ready um but yeah radishes the greens lettuce um pretty soon the green onions will be ready so yeah there's a lot of good stuff coming on uh our garlic scapes so there's a lot of fun too uh, people often look at those and think they're green beans green beans will be a little bit longer um but yeah there's just a lot of flavors going on so is that part of the fun for you as somebody that does the farmer's market is the variety that you get to oh absolutely pick through the absolutely absolutely um yeah like doug and denise do you know main crop ideas and, and and that's wonderful and then some of us who are more diversified we kind of fill in the fluff the extras yeah so, stick with us through the season